I'm Matt Purvis. I'm James Chandler. I'm Rod. And I'm Nikki. And we're all a part of Avenue Q here at Stage West and Theater 3. Avenue Q is basically about Princeton and it has a lot to do with friendships and um, relationships that are made uh, when he comes to New York and moves into the street where he lives, Avenue Q. Yeah. It's a really fun, heartwarming, great, you know, comedic show with, you know, a lot of great songs. And, and there's a lot of puppets! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nikki, but they're not for kids. Oh. Oh, right. It's very not for kids. kids. Adults. <laughs> right. Very it's like kids. an adult Sesame Street, pretty much. <laughs> A lot of people have expectations when they come into Q. Um, you know, a lot of them know of the show or have seen the Tony Award clip or know the recording or things like that. Um, but uh, you know, there are a few surprises in our production that are a little bit different than other versions. It is somewhat stick to the original, but then we also have our own kind of you know fun flair with it. And yeah, things like that. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot to live up to. I think people come expecting you know certain a certain atmosphere, I guess, like a certain performance and, you know, to ha be able to live up to that. I mean, we have people tell us all the time how great it is and how much they've enjoyed it. So for me, that's pretty cool, you know? Yeah. I mean, uh, it's been really interesting and a lot of fun. I think it's really interesting to see how you know how different the show has become from when we first started I mean almost two years ago yeah. with the breaks we've had it's just it's come a long way um, both with the puppets and how we use them and uh, just kind of how we all interact on stage it's I mean we're almost a family and we can tell what's gonna happen kind of basically just by like looking at what they're about to, I mean it's really interesting to see how much you can learn from people and adapt to like what you expect them to do yeah, absolutely. I've never even thought about yeah. Um, for well, for me, I what I you know whenever I just try and tell people what the show is, it's like Adult Sesame Street. Yeah, you know, that's what that's kind of what people think of when they see puppets and in lessons. I think the puppets and lessons. Yeah, yeah, that's a <laughs> that's a hard question. Um, stressful, <laughs> very stressful. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you think? Avenue Nikki. Yeah. Uh, Avenue Nikki would be... What? Everything's not about you all the time. Well, that's not true at all. Come see the show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some of the put-in rehearsals we've done? Yeah. Some of the put-ins with our understudies just because we've done it for so long. And, and uh, I don't know. I guess sometimes we'll, we would throw curveballs at them to... You know, yeah. which is terrible because they're trying. To, they're just trying to fit <laughs> they're in. They're trying to learn. Just trying to figure it out. But I think if I think back to like the most memorable one, it would probably be the first couple of weeks where we really got the puppets and we started mm -hmm. working with them. And we had kind of a puppet intensive workshop mm -hmm. and just learning how all of them worked and, and everything like that. Um, that was probably the, you know the the hardest part of the whole. Oh, definitely. Thing, you know, yeah, definitely. All... Hey, hey, Rob. Rod, hey, well, who hey. goes on for Beyonce when she's sick? I don't know, Nikki. Beyonce B! <laughs> you get it? Because there's Beyonce and Beyonce B. Beyonce C, what I did there? Oh, <laughs> what? That's terrible. Uh, Rod, fun with letters. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I like green, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, and not to kind of butter you up a little bit, but I mean, I'm, I like blue, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, isn't that sweet? I know. Sweet. I, I, know. To say. Um, I'm also pretty partial to green. And, uh. Rod? I like green, too! <laughs>
don't have to give in to peer pressure, but... Well, it's... A lot of the people I find myself drawn to in life are great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's enough. Okay. What? That's, what? what? Oh. that's enough. All right. Oh, we had a moment. surrounded by all my friends. You know, you don't have to go very far in which to, to find somebody you like. You just go next door and, you know, there's there's, there's Brian, or, or Christmas Eve, or Gary, or Trekkie, or, or Kate. Yeah, that's true. I, you, I mean, you named them all, but... Yeah. Um, my favorite part? Um... Having a nice apartment is good. Yeah. Ours is the nicest. Yeah, that's very the, true. On the entire avenue. Yeah. Yeah, he decorated it, so... Well... Yeah. Thank oh, you. It, it was nice. Thank you. Yeah. Now you moved in late, so. Well, you know, it's cheap. <laughs> what? Is that cheap? Well, it's relatively cheap. I mean, come on. We're in New York. Different family, strange. I think that describes us. Yeah, maybe, that's true. That's as a cast, maybe not the show itself, <laughs> but that's what makes this, I think, so different and been such a cool thing to be a part of is that it has been different and we're all kind of weird. And we are a family now. It's absolutely. For a while there, I saw you guys more than I saw my own family, so, you know. Yeah, it's just, you know, us getting together and, and playing. Having fun. Yeah. I know. People coming to see it. It's great. So come see Avenue Q, uh, running January 9th through February 15th. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. You can come out and have a good time. I mean, where else are you going to get to see a bunch of guys like this, you know, up on a stage, singing and dancing? Absolutely. Just, you know, come out and have fun. Maybe not dancing. Come on, there's some dancing. What? Dancing is a loose term. Oh, come on. Okay, movement. There's puppet movement. There's movement. It'll yeah. be a good time. Come on out and see it.